Hey guys, it's Riley Aroz Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark, and today I'm here with a Ben's haul, and Olive has decided to join, and now she's leaving, so. <laughs> I have not gone through this stuff since I picked it up, so it's been sitting for a, like, ooh, two weeks waiting to be processed. I just got really busy, so it's been sitting in my basement, and I did want to haul it too, so normally I have, like, inventoried this stuff and have, like, a cost of goods for you guys which I have not done. This stuff has not been touched since I brought it home. So it's honestly kind of going to be a surprise going through it again. Most of this is going to be shoes. Um, I'll show you a few things that aren't shoes in the beginning. But normally I spend, if I like average everything out, uh, under $2 and most of it's shoes. So I'd say between $1.20 to $1.60 per pair of shoes. And I'm assuming today will be no different. This day I think I spent Mm, a little under a hundred dollars potentially and I also went with my sister and when I go with my sister she has like no patience so we were only there for like an hour and it we got I got pretty good stuff in an hour so I would have liked to stay longer but just gives me an excuse to go back without her <laughs> okay so let's just get into the haul first I will show you guys the non-shoes I guess okay so first up is this purse i can't touch it it gives me goosebumps i'm weird with certain fabrics i grabbed this for buy sell trade i have not yet taken it to them and if you are not new to my channel you might know i did a series called pounds to play-dohs i am potentially no longer doing that series because i'm done with play-dohs i can't deal with them anymore i'm actually now dri driving further into chicago to take things to buffalo exchange and crossroads which is just working out so much better I thought this was unbranded, but there is a tag. Oh my gosh, it's Old Navy, and it's like old, old Navy. Like, I don't know how old, but oh, is there a date tag actually in here? 2005, maybe actually I'll list this as like Y2K. I was gonna take it, but who knows now. Then I grabbed this Volcom hat. This is Volcom, yeah, it says on the side. Um, why did I grab this? Uh, because it's super lightweight and I know a lot of people have luck selling hats so it's in good shape and it's camo I feel like everybody likes camo except for me so I was like okay why not try out a Volcom hat they originally wanted four bucks for it and I did not pay four bucks then one of like my only clothes finds was this Lululemon tank and I don't think this was ever put on a floor because there's no price tag on it and this is definitely like an older style it's scoop neck i can't even remember what these are called i feel like there's scoop in the title uh, i'll have to look for the size dot but i'll be happy to sell this for 15 dollars if that's what it sells for it's in really good shape even though it's an older piece okay i bought this for buy sell trade but it's actually flawed and it's stuck in the bottom of the bag dang it it is a nothing brand and i think i might actually just send this to like textile recycle because it's like a button and that thing is broken off and i could sew it but like is it worth my time to sew it eh, maybe i might actually just sew it because i could potentially get like nine dollars and what's a few minutes of sewing for nine dollars i might do that okay i also bought this for buy sell trade although now we are going out of the winter seasons i don't know what this even says i've come across it in thrift stores before i don't pick it up it's just a tan turtleneck so I might actually have to oh is there a state on the front no it's, it's a uh, thread I might have to hang on to this until next year oh I bought these I will sell these myself they are new a tag they're new a tag baby gap snow pants and I feel like these will do well um obviously we're coming out of the season for snow pants so if I can get these listed fast maybe they'll sell this year and if not maybe they will sell next year textiles are a little boring but you definitely want to stick around for the shoes because that's the star of the show i grabbed this knox rose xl top they originally wanted five bucks for because um i can't remember her name but someone i watch her youtube videos occasionally says she has good luck selling knox rose especially in sizes plus sizes and this is like a large but I figured I'd try it out and it's only a tank, but I have a few Knox Rose pieces that I'm going to list. Also Old Navy, I'm gonna give some Old Navy pieces a try. Oh, we got another one of the sweaters that I showed earlier or turtlenecks. And actually there was like 10, I don't know, in different colors. There's like some gray, a few of these, there was a dark brown one. And I did take some stuff to buy sell trade already. And I just grabbed a couple out of this bag that I knew I had buy sell trade stuff for and I think they bought one of them but not the other so who knows 
Okay, this is also for buy sell trade. I literally spent like five minutes max in the clothes before my sister was throwing a fit and just wanted to go to shoes. So this is literally everything I found in five minutes. Okay, this is, and also, also some of this stuff came from like handbags because we did go through handbags. I don't normally, but this is double zero. And this is a brand I see them have at all the buy sell trade stores a lot. I have no idea where it's sold. And it's a puffer coat. So again, I don't think they'll buy this because we're going out of winter. Maybe I'll look up to see if this has any resale value. If it's like $15, I might sell it myself just because so that way I don't have to sit on it for a year. What are you? Oh, I picked these up for buy, sell, trade. Coming into spring, summer. I don't know if they'll grab these just because they are colored denim. They do look like they need to go through the wash. The brand is Jeanswear. I don't know what that is. So a no-name brand. Uh, they honestly, I don't know if they'll buy these. I feel like if they were a regular color, they would. But because they're like this dyed lavendery color, I don't know. But I figured I'd give it a chance. Okay, I don't know why I bought this. I probably should have left it. It is pure Jill. I don't have that much luck with J Jill, but it's just like hard to leave these sometimes. Maybe I'll send this into thread up because I'm probably gonna have a bag going to them. So a plain tank, I really don't think I would have very much luck selling this myself. I also bought these for buy, sell, trade. They're a vintage shirt. Oh, these are actually kind of cute, okay? If these didn't have a double button, I would probably keep them for myself, but I don't love this double button. So these will be going to buy, sell, trade. I don't like selling shorts and I would rather get $9 from them at buy, sell, trade than sell them myself when I don't like selling shorts. Okay, I originally grabbed this for buy, sell, trade. It needs to be cleaned up, but I might check comps and see how it's doing. It says Daniela Moda on here. I literally, I don't know anything about this. And then it has something else on the interior. So <clears throat> if you can see that, I'll probably sell this myself, I think, because it's that very trendy Y2K style. It's slightly off the handle, but it does also have, I don't know. Again, this is something that I'll have to decide. I feel like I could see myself posting this. Maybe I'll check comps and see how the style of purse is doing because brand doesn't really matter with this vintage stuff, but I feel like it could do well. I grabbed a belt from Talbot. Now, a lot of people really like selling belts. Um, I feel like I don't have that good of luck with them, but it's just a leather belt and it's actually in great condition. Like it doesn't look like it's ever been worn at all. Like these holes, perfect condition so I was like I don't know I'll listen and see what happens oh here's another one of these sweaters or why do I keep calling them sweaters they're just like thin turtlenecks that I was talking about earlier oh this is for buy sell trade it's like oh it does have a brand it's the brand David and Young New York I'll look up the brand just in case but I don't recognize it so it's just like a lemon baseball cap that I think buy sell trade would buy then I grabbed this Victoria's Secret bra. It's a teeny tiny size, but it is like the vintage old tag. It's like probably like a 32A. Literally like my nipple would fit in this cup. Yeah, it's a 32A, but I grabbed it. I was like, eh, $10, okay. Okay, maybe one of my best clothing finds of the day or my best clothing find was this Madewell skirt. It's like an embroidered dot skirt so and it seems like a bigger size it's a size 31 so it's a decent size let's see what it's from it's it's from fall 2019 so i just looked like as i'm filming this the trendy thing on instagram right now is everyone's posting like their top selling brands over 12 months and madel's actually my third top selling brand so i feel like i can't sell it but i guess it sells for me and literally I sold one yesterday and I'm like, as I posted it, I'm like, I feel like Madewell doesn't sell for me. And then I sold a pair of jeans. Madewell was a lot of people's top selling brand. Okay, another hat for buy, sell, trade. Um, it is new with tags from Ragstock, actually. <clears throat> if you don't know what Ragstock is, um, I haven't been to one in years and years and years, but it's like vintage and like thrifted and new. So I'm assuming this is new. Um, it was on sale for... $14.99 off of $15.99. Funny. I'll just cut the price off and then take it to buy, sell, trade. Okay, I feel like I probably should have passed on this, but I grabbed it. Um, It's a guess. 
mini purse uh i figured y2k but uh, i i don't know i feel like the purse i showed the purse i showed earlier is much more trending y2k than this i also grabbed another guest purse and took it to buy sell trade and none of them wanted it um will people want this i don't know i guess i'll probably just try and list this one myself since the buy sell trades don't want my other one i feel like this is like ugh, this is not my style but i think some of the tiktok girlies would like it oh this is a mountain hardware hat i oh my gosh is there a hole in it there is a hole in it but Ooh, can you see my finger okay well that's a bummer maybe i'll just give this to my mom or something um i guess i could put a few stitches in it too but i really think this will only sell for like 10 to 13 dollars so probably not worth the time there my first pair of shoes but they're just randomly in this these are a pair of steve madden flip-flops um they're probably not worth that much but they're in good shape and steve madden does well for me so i'd guess about like 13 to 15 of these coming down last few textile items i grabbed this vera bradley purse and i don't have like great luck with vera bradley but also when i see vera bradley in good condition it's hard to leave it so i was thinking maybe 15 dollars on this it's in really good shape actually like doesn't look like it's ever been used okay i grabbed this kid shirt um it is by this brand i do sell kids clothes occasionally so i will google this brand and if it happens to be anything i'll list it and if it doesn't then i kind of have this big pile of kids clothes i'm thinking about doing a garage sale over the summer and like one day being like every single item is two dollars and then the next day every single item is one dollar so we'll see i don't know <clears throat> and the last item i actually grabbed this for myself it's a hat in the chicago area these are super popular i've had a few of them i've like and my favorite ones are these lined ones like this and um I lost my first one at Last Chance. If you know Last Chance, I was never getting the hat back. Well, my second one, this winter I left in my sister's car and then I looked for it and it wasn't in her car and then I saw my mom wearing it like last week and so I was like, whatever. And I found this one at the bins and I was like, okay, I'll take it. There's some hair stuck to it. It definitely looks like someone put this through the wash because it's all matted, the ball is. But whatever, I'll throw it through the wash and then I have a nice new hat for the end of winter. Now I will show you guys the shoes which is definitely my favorite part and where all my money is going to be made. I don't mind selling bin shoes for $15. So sometimes I even grab stuff I know is going to sell for less, like maybe like $13. So I don't know. I just kind of grab everything. Also, I didn't check everything over. So we'll likely come across a flawed pair too. So the first shoe, I don't know if I want to unrubber band these because I still have to put them back in this bag, whatever, is this pair of Clarks. Um just a sandal good for going into spring and the sole's a little bit worn but i don't worry that doesn't matter too much to me i think they'll sell for like 16 to 18 dollars i feel like clark's used to do better and i have a hard time moving them so maybe i should stop picking them up but it's hard because i know they're a decent shoe brand so when i see them for under two dollars i'm like yes i'll get them okay this is a funny find um it is a pair of allegria or allegoria depending on how you say it um shoes this is like their logo this butterfly and i've had decent luck with it not that i've sold much of it but i think they should sell for at least 25 once i clean them up and here's the funny thing they came from last chance originally um i do occasionally come across things being by last chance in thrift stores that come from last chance and they were 25 dollars at last chance so um they're in pretty good shape they just have like a magic eraser we'll clean this right up and then i think they should sell for 25 dollars these are actually in pretty good condition they're a pair of lucky brand heels i guess if you can see there's like some scuffs there whatever i don't care um i feel like lucky brand shoes don't sell as well as they used to but i still pick them up at the bins especially like this when they're in super good condition so hopefully between 20 and 25 for these i usually find i shouldn't say usually i often find or leave with a pair of Sorrells. So these are in super good shape. I usually find them pretty beat up. And again, we have like a little bit of whatever that is wear on the heel there, but these are in like awesome shape. I'm so happy with these. Um, these should sell. I feel like I sell, I sell, sell more beat up ones for like 30 to $40. So I feel like these should sell definitely above 40. Although again, we are coming out of that winter season, but Sorrell has a following, so. 
Okay, next pair that just needs a little bit of blood there conditioner and then they'll be good to go is this Picolino sneaker. I don't think I've ever actually found a sneaker by them. Here is what the brand looks like. They make leather shoes and I actually come across them often at the bins. I think people just don't know what they are and so they get left behind. Um, they usually sell for above 30 for me. So hopefully they sell between 30 and $40. Okay, not my favorite brand to pick up, but they were in bad shape and I just like couldn't leave them behind. They're these Donald J. Pliner cork wedge sandals. Uh, yeah, this brand, I literally just sold a pair of sandals I've had forever by this brand for $15. But again, I just said, like, I'm at the bin, so if they sell for, fi <laughs> oh, sneezed. If they sell for $15, that's fine. Okay, these are Nayot. I think like my sister picked these up and tossed them. So a lot of this stuff my sister actually found for me too. I don't remember who found what exactly, but thank you to Kendall if, oh, oh no, they're not flawed. Okay, good. I thought they were flawed for a second. So thank you to my sister Kendall for finding stuff for me. Um, so this is Nayat, which is like kind of like a Birkenstocks brand, but it doesn't sell as well for me. Like a lot of people have luck with it. I'm not gonna leave it behind for like a bins price, but I also like sit on it for a while. But going into spring summer, hopefully these sell relatively fast. Also, these are in relatively good shape. Okay, I've actually found this style of corkies at the bins before. So these are corkies, and I still have the pair that I found, but in a different color. So maybe black will do better than brown. Um, they are corkies. Corkies tend to do pretty good. Actually, I feel like it used to do better. Again, this is a brand I feel like move slower than it used to but i'm still not going to leave it in the bins because they make good shoes that are somewhat desirable <laughs> so hopefully these sell for about 30 but if they sell for a little less that's okay because my other ones are still sitting on so i would like to move these okay i don't remember picking these up hmm. i grabbed this pair of vans and they're actually in pretty good shape i leave a lot of vans behind that are in really beat up shape i mean People love their vans and good I'd rather people like you know donate or I don't know about donate but love their shoes to death than like donate brand new shoes like these look pretty unworn so they're kind of like an olive green oh, I think someone put yeah someone put their own soul in which of course me is thinking I wish I realized that because then I could have taken it out and paid less because I paid for the weight of the soles <laughs> whatever so this black thing is a soul insert I'll take them out and put them out later Still, uh, pretty good in condition vans. They're like olive green and black. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully they'll sell for $25. I found a pair of dance goes. Um, they just need some leather conditioner. Actually, I think my sister found these or like she found one and I found the other. And you know, there was a kind of a bummer. Um, I always test the soles on dance goes because a lot of time, what? A lot of the times at the bins, they will crack. Olive's looking at me like she wants something. I found this dance co in like pristine condition, but it was a single. And that's a problem with these bins is I only ever find singles of the shoes I want to buy. So like a lot of these, like 90% sure these were separated and my sister and I both found one. Anyway, I had this single dance co and I was like, put it in my singles bag. I literally carry a singles bag around with me, hoping to find matches. And I'm digging through this bin and I hear this... There's this woman who's a regular who's there literally every single time I'm there and here talking to some other ladies and she's like, oh, I have the single dance go, but obviously I'm not going to find it, blah, blah, And after a minute, I'm like, maybe I should ask her if it's a dance go I have. And so I asked her, like, I just like hold up the dance go. I'm like, oh, I heard you say you had a single dance go. Is this it? And she's like, yeah. And like, sticks your hand out to take it from me. And I was like, um, and I was just like uncomfortable. Like, I was like, oh, maybe we could like you know trade for it or something that's usually how it goes you trade for the shoes you want at this location so um but she's like stuck her hand out and me just being like someone who feels the need to please people i just hand it to her and she's like thanks i owe you a shoe and i'm like yeah um so i wish like i could have it's like it went so fast like looking back on the situation i wish i'd been like is this the one? And if she's like, yeah, I'd be like, hey, do you want to trade for it or something? But I didn't. I just gave it to her and lost 
potential money, but eh, that's okay. Um, I obviously left with lots of other good shoes. I didn't need another pair, but it was kind of weird. Okay, my sister found these. Very likely fake, but I didn't have enough time to authenticate them while we were there. Yeah, like just looking at the quality, these are definitely like very fake to me, likely, but as I said, I did not have the time to authenticate them, so. Um, oh, they're likely fake Louboutins and they're like dirty. Someone had insoles. Um, I will Google just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure these are fake. The rhinestones seem like they're falling off. It seems kind of cheap, but it's still fun to find a potential designer thing. If I had more time, I would have Googled them or even taken a closer look at them and probably thrown them back. Like the only reason stuff seems to check out other than the fact that the rhinestones seem to be coming off. And I feel like if they were authentic, the rhinestones would be like literally you can even see this one. Wait, let me see right here is peeking out. So, um, I probably wasted about $2 on these, but that's okay. <laughs> um, my sister found them. You know, it's fun when you think you find Louboutins, but... Mm -hmm. Another bread and butter find. There's some pair of Lucky Brand <clears throat> sandals like earlier. So hopefully these will sell for about $20. Again, in good shape. I feel like when I normally find Lucky Brand at the bins, it's really beat up. So happy with these. And the reason these were at the bins is because I wanted, oh my God, $20. I thought it was 15, but it was actually $20. So I have a conundrum with this brand. It is J Slides. I find this brand a lot and maybe like not a lot, a lot, but often. It's not uncommon for me to find it. These need to be cleaned up, but they don't sell for me, but they're expensive. They retail for like over a hundred, between like a hundred and 150. I have sold a pair, I think a singular pair, like in January last month, like at the very beginning of January, I think it was my first sale of 2023, but I can't leave them behind because I know they're expensive. So maybe I'll just start pricing them lower and see if I can move them for like 20 bucks. But yeah, these definitely need to be cleaned up. The next pair of shoes I have, or a pair of coach mule heel sandal things. It's literally when I'm gonna list these, I'm gonna put like coach mule sandal heels because every single website calls these something different. Anyway, my sister found these. She was looking this day mostly for things to take just straight to buy, sell, trade. She's not a reseller, but she likes to thrift. So this is something she found and she took to buy, sell, trade to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange and neither of them bought them. Um, I think just because of season, because this is totally something they would buy in summer. So, find by me, vintage coach, like trending coach style <laughs> for vintage. So these should sell pretty well. I was happy. I mean, I want them to buy her stuff, but I was happy that I can sell these. So excited about that. Okay, another thing that she got for buy, sell, trade that they didn't buy are these Skechers Shape Ups. And if you know anything about Shape Ups, they do pretty well. I don't know if they do as well as they used to. I have a couple pair listed that were like in my death pile, but I've not sold these black and pink ones. And I feel like these should do well with the Y2K style and they're desirable outside of that. People like them. And to my knowledge, they stopped making them. Okay, also seeing this, there's like a 10 written on here which I'll have to see if I can get that off somehow. So somewhere along the way, someone was probably trying to sell these for $10 somewhere. Hopefully I can sell them for $30 because these are actually in really good shape. Okay, next I found a classic pair of Allbirds. These ones have some wear on the heel. But other than that, they're in pretty good shape. I'll throw these in the washing machine because they can go in the washing machine, but not the dryer. Don't put shoes in the dryer. These are minus 12. I always, anytime I find Allbirds, I feel like it's in this color. Like I received this exact pair in Woman's in a thread up box. I have grabbed the this color from the bins before. And these are tree runners. Um, I think that's what they're called. There's wool runners, maybe tree something else. Maybe they're not tree runners, but uh, these should sell for like 25, I feel like. 
I passed on these the first time and then was doing like a quick round before you left to see if I could find any of my singles and passed them again and no one had grabbed them still and I was like okay I'll grab them they're euro soft by soft and I will pick up soft this is like definitely a super lower end line like probably sold I mean soft I feel like it sold at TJ Maxx but this is definitely like a TJ Maxx brand and they're not in great shape like this lining is peeling up so why did I grab them? Well, because I've sold these before, like this brand of sandal, and they'll sell for 15. Um, I might glue the sides down. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, the shoe has some wear here. Just like, uh, yeah, whatever, they're fine. Um, hopefully they'll sell for about 15. I probably should have left these behind, but just being in like decent condition, it's really hard to leave decent condition shoes behind okay so these next two are the same brand and when i grabbed these i was looking at this side and not this side like as i said i am like going so fast and grabbing things when i'm in the bins that i miss a lot i'm assuming though this is dust from being in a bin because this one's in absolutely fine condition but you don't know what these are they are touts i don't know who owns this brand i feel like it's part of another brand and I usually find their sandals. I've never found like a flat before. So I'll have to see if I can clean this up somehow. I feel like it is just dust from being in a bin. So I'll see if I can like wipe it up. And then I feel like they should sell for like 25 to 30 bucks. I got another pair of towels and these are the ones I normally come across and sell. Like this exact style of sandal. Actually, is it? Yeah, I feel like it is this exact style. Um, I found these at the bins before. Actually, maybe not this exact style. Whatever. Their strappy sandals are usually what I come across. And these ones are in really good shape. Like, pretty good shape. So, hopefully these will sell between $30 and $35. In the winter, I find a lot of sandals. And then in the summer, I find a lot of boots. That's just how it goes. Because obviously, people also shopping there are going to try and get the things that are in season. I'm not that competitive of a person. I kind of hang back and take the leftovers. So I feel like that's why I get the sandals and the boots out of season. When I start going in the summer, all my shoes that I bought in the winter will sell and I will start stocking up on boots for fall and winter. These could have easily been left behind, but they're worth a little bit and they're, I just need to like run a magic eraser along the sole and then they'll be fine. They're just a Vans perforated, perforated leather slip on. I had these in high school. Um, I feel like I still have mine somewhere, but I loved them. I think there's still a market for these, so she, these should sell for about 20 to 25 Another pair of Vans. Oh, dang it. So, here's a flaw I missed. Um, these seem like a chunkier platform than normal. Maybe not. Maybe yes, I don't know. Um, I'll still sell these, but they have like some splitting right here. So they'll go for less. Um, I'll price them lower and hope to get about like 15 for these. Oh yeah, this one has it too. I feel like in good condition, these should sell for like 25. Okay, this is my first time finding this brand and they are a funky pair. Unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. They are ancient Greek sandals. So here's the logo. And this is a good sandal brand to be on the lookout for. I've never sold it. They are made in Italy, this pair is. Um, these need to be cleaned up, but they're like Hermes, the Greek god sandals. Uh, they got the wings on the back and they're also rubber. I feel like they're known for their leather sandals. I feel like these probably retailed like way under what the normal ones retail for, but I've never found this brand before and they're in the bins. So I decided to grab them and give it a try. I mean, obviously someone originally wanted the funky sandals, so why wouldn't someone want them secondhand? I found these crock flats. I feel like they should sell for like 25 bucks. Not very exciting, but profit and they're pretty clean and I'll probably run like a paper towel with soap over them but that's nice for me. Next I grabbed these Franco Sardo. Oh the rubber bands here. There's not actually a band on the heel. That's the rubber band keeping them together. Uh suede pointed toe too. T what? Pointed toe heel. Um Franco Sardo has updated their logo since that I believe. I think they just do Sardo now right? But anyway, these are like a solid seller. They should sell for like 25 bucks. People know the brand and they like it. And they were in the bins because they were originally at the thrift store $13. Then I grabbed a pair of Birkenstocks. These are by no means in good condition. As you can see, there's some like cracking on the insole, but I mean, no, it's not like gonna fall apart. 
Um, they also need to, a magic eraser wipe down, but once they look cleaner, they should probably sell for about $25, I feel like, even with this wear. Um, I would be willing to go lower, obviously. I guess not obviously, you don't know that. My sister found a lot of hunter boots, and I feel like normally these would have been scooped up, but they were all separate. They were all in different bins. Like, so I found this shoe first, this hunter boot, and was like to my sister, I put it in my singles bag and was like, hey, I'm looking for this if you find it. And then she did find the match and she found a few more pairs, which I'm not realizing this is flawed, but not flawed to the point that I won't sell it. Um, So I will show you the other ones when we come across it. Anyway, this is like pretty, fancy style. I don't usually see hunter boots like this. I probably should have left these behind, but again, I go fast and I don't look at condition. Um, when I, like, when I'm there with my sister, if I was not there with my sister, I would have gone, I still would have gone as fast grabbing things, but I probably would have looked things over a little bit more, but it's just because she throws a fit and wants to leave. But she finds me a bunch of good shoes, so catch 22. Well, I probably should have left these behind, but even with the flaws, I probably would have grabbed them. They're mini Bowden rain boots, and I'll just sell these as play conditions. So this one's missing a buckle, which is like no big deal. It's just there for wear. And then the interior lining is like slightly pulling up a little bit, and then they just have like cosmetic flaws. But I feel like, you know, if you're buying rain boots for your kids to play in, like this is fine. I'll sell them for like 15 bucks, or I'll list them at 15 bucks. Eh, I'll check arms. <laughs> I'll expect, I think these will sell between 12 and 15 is what I should say. Coach sandals. So as you can see, I grab things in, um, if I think they'll sell, I'll grab them in pretty much any condition. So like these, I would say are in good shape, but just some of this metallicness is peeling on the sole. And also some of the, the toe is a little scuffed, but I still think this is a good find. Um, I actually found these last year in a different color at buy sell trade and then my sister took them from me because they were her size so now i actually get to sell them this time and see how they do okay next i grabbed these and i thought they were ll bean slippers oh they are okay these ll bean there there's nothing on the interior but they're in really good shape so that should be a nice 25 to 30 dollar sale grabbed these i tried to do some quick research but really found nothing and now I'm thinking it's because I looked up the wrong thing. So these are climbing shoes, like for mountain climbing. And I don't know, they have like a little bit of toe wear. I know nothing about them. Um, I looked up this Trax rubber thing and nothing came up. So I'm wondering if this is the brand. So um, this could be a win or I'm total loss. I'm guessing more like a medium score, but I don't know. I'll learn. Kind of like a classic pickup for me. I grabbed these because they are in pretty good condition. Uh, BOC by Born. This always sells for me. These should sell for like 15 bucks. Leather, sandals in good condition. Going into summer. Ooh, the sun's coming back out. Hopefully these do well. I mean, well as in sell faster. They are like a more mature style, so. Okay, I grabbed these that just need a little bit of a magic eraser cleanup. They're Steve Madden sandal. Um, Steve Madden always does well for me. I pick it up pretty much anytime I find it for the right price, unless it's like an older style. This has like slight, wrong side, slight wear to the strap, but hopefully these will sell about 20 bucks minimum. Here's another thing my sister took to buy, sell, trade. And I think the reason they passed on them um, one is because of season and two, my sister heard them saying something about toe wear. So if I don't feel like selling these myself, I will take them back more towards like maybe April and clean magic eraser this part up. Other than that, like they're in good condition. So I don't know where the match is right now, which is why I'm not showing you the other. Okay, we're almost done with my sister's stuff that I still trade didn't buy from her. They actually bought some good stuff from her. She made some money. So this is the sack and they were like looking this over that most of must not have been in like good enough condition for them there is like a snag right here but it is did i say the sack um the knit bag and i've sold these before they're like a known brand so i think this is an older style i might even just take this back to buy sell trade a second time to see if they buy it and i did pay her for this stuff she didn't just give it to me okay this is my designer find of the day um, because the batons are fake. They are these kids Prada shoes and I'm pretty sure these are authentic. I will do a little more authentication, but pretty sure. 
these are authentic Prada. I have found fake Prada at the spins before though, so. Um, but I have also found real Prada at the bins before that I sold, like pretty beat up men's loafers for 70 bucks. Made in Vietnam, size 29. So, um, let's see this. I don't know if this is scuffing or if it can be like magic eraser off otherwise. Um, the toes have some wear, but like I'm not gonna leave designer shoes behind if they're in wearable condition. And I found those, and this is the last thing my sister found and took to buy so that they didn't buy. These are I'm a little surprised about. I like the only flaw is like this rubber is pulling a little bit. Other than that, I mean, again, maybe like seasonality, like they're buying transition and not quite summer shoes. They're Sam Edelman like ankle wrap platform shoes. I think these will sell hmm, decently well between $20 and $25. We're on to the last bag of things, I mean of shoes. <laughs> And I feel like I'm missing a bag. I don't think so, but you know, it just kind of feels like it. But I'm pretty sure this is everything. So my sister found these kids rain boots and I kind of like, she's like, do you want these? And I was like, no. And I was like, oh, actually maybe because I see this brand at the thrift store a lot. What is it called? Western Chief? Is that what it is? Chef? Western Chef? And they're Minnie Mouse rain boots in good condition. And so I was like, okay, I'll give them a try. And if they don't sell, I'll either take them to like Once Upon a Child or try that and then my potential garage sale so uh, i did decide to try those like i'll pick up bogs in pretty much any condition but those were in good condition which is why i grabbed those i actually don't think i grabbed any bogs or found any bogs today which is um not typical for me i usually feel like i leave the bins with one pair of bogs well, my sister actually found these. She's like, do you want these? And I'm like, yes, please. And if, I don't know if um, they were not matched and she found them or if they were, the reason people passed on them is because of like this toe and heel wear, but I will put leather conditioner on that, do what I can for them and sell them as is. They should still sell for like 30 bucks because I just listed a pair in similar condition for like close to $40, hoping to get about $30 for these after checking comps. And I am pretty sure these are authentic, like they feel authentic and I've sold them before. Next up, okay, these are in like, the soles are in like meh condition, but the rest of them are in okay condition. They are Michael Michael Kors, like gold foil heels. And I come across a lot of Michael Kors shoes at the bins and I don't like them, but they sell, so I grab them. Um, and these I'm assuming will sell for about $20. Okay, I grabbed these. I had such a bummer to me. I see so many pairs of Sperry's and like good condition Sperry's too. But I feel like the classic Sperry top cider style just does not sell. It's like Tom's, like classic Tom's. I almost never pick them up only if they're super special. Now this is a little more unique. I still feel like this is kind of an outdated style. The other one fell. But I have not actually, I have never actually sold the style of Sperry before. So I decided to give it a chance. I don't know if I found these or my sister. I feel like I did because I don't think my sister would have picked these up, but I literally left like a pristine pair of Sperry topsiders behind just because I knew I would sit on them for a year and, and then sell them for 12 bucks. So I did grab these though to try them out. I feel like they'll sell for like $18 after a couple months. I found another pair of dance goes and these are in good condition dance goes. I forgot about these. And I found them on the ground underneath a bin where a lot of people like put their throwbacks. So that was exciting. Like I saw that literally my sister and I were getting ready to check out and I saw them like, like the dance code just like laying facing towards me and I crawled under the bin to grab them. I am the person who crawls under bins to get things. This is not the first time I've crawled underneath a bin to grab something and they're in great condition. So I'm super happy about these. I think they should sell for at least $35. Okay, then I got this pair of Uggs. Um, they're not in the best condition. The toes are all like worn. I don't, is that like from people dragging their toes? I see that a lot in Uggs. Um, I'm going to throw these. I have a bag of Uggs that I get at the bins that are just like Uggs that need to be cleaned up. And so I'm gonna throw these in my bag of Uggs that need to be cleaned up and deal with them later. But if I sold them in this condition, I honestly think they'd sell for 20 bucks. And I mean, there's not much I can do. Like I can't fix the toes, but I think I can fix the leather a little bit. Oh, I don't really remember grabbing this. I guess kind of, it's a vintage purse. I used to love selling vintage purses because Goodwill would price them at like three bucks. There's no brand, but you can tell it's vintage. Oh wait, there is something, the metal is marked, but it smells vintage, <laughs> musty-ish. 
anyway i'll clean it up and see what i can get for it or i'll clean it up and take it to buy sell trade i don't know i don't really sell vintage bags anymore oh i don't i kind of remember finding these these are actually in relatively good shape oh my gosh <laughs> the bottom has 70 written on the bottom but um these are coach these are definitely an older style coach they have the coach logo on them they're five and a half i mean not the best but I'll still sell them. I think they'll sell for 25. The only problem is, as maybe you saw, they do have some cracking on the interior leather. I hate when that happens. If you know why that happens, I would love to know. Like, is it because the shoes aren't stored correctly or is it just because they're getting old? These are definitely from like maybe pre-2010, but still like, look at that sole. Like someone wore these once. I have some bags in here. What is this? Nine West. Okay, I think I grabbed this for buy, sell, trade too. And I mean, I can sell it if they don't take it from me. It is like a faux fur bucket bag. I just like, this is definitely a vintage Nine West from the tag. I think buy, sell, trade would take this. I just, I don't like selling bags. I think you could sell this on Poshmark and maybe sell it for like 15 to $20. I don't like selling bags. They don't move for me i've had this zara bag that i thought is pretty good zara leather tote bag i got from the bins years ago and i've sent people like 15 dollar offers on it nobody wants this bag but i do like selling shoes um shoes always move okay these are kind of dirty but i'll clean them up they are natives uh i pretty much find natives anytime i go to the bins they're so lightweight they don't sell for much but they i think you can actually stick them in the dishwasher i don't i use like dish soap and magic eraser to clean them up and I mean, I usually find them pretty worn, sometimes even more worn than this, but I, they're still like, I don't know, they should still sell for maybe like 12 to $15 and they weigh like five ounces. A few bags left. This is another vintage bag. Um, it's not in the best shape. It does have a YKK zipper and it is made in japan so it's pretty cool um the reason my sister found it and i think she was like she asked me she's like do you think buy sell trade will take this and i was like i think they would if it was in better condition but like some of these beads have like paint on them so i might see if i can like oh yeah look that will come off so i'll clean it up and then it's still not in great condition like it's missing a bead here and like yeah but it's vintage and i think someone will still want this i'll do some research and see if I can date it. Looking at the hardware, I would guess 50s or 60s. But if you know more, feel free to leave it in the comments. Okay, I have these and they have not sold yet. And I've had them since like the summer. So I don't know why I decided to pick up another pair. For some reason, I just cannot leave Skechers behind. <laughs> and I don't have luck selling them. But I see them because I see other people selling them. And I was like, Skechers, I'm going to buy them. So I've literally had this style in black and like gray and it can't sell it it's like a kids and this folds down and you can like slip on shoe um i will use a magic eraser to clean these up a little bit and i don't know how much they would sell for i would guess like 15 but i have not sold the other pair yet so i was happy about this find these are in good condition i thought these are so cute i'm not gonna un rubber band them they are jewels rain boots they make fun printed rain boots i think you can actually buy them at like dsw and stuff but I have another pair listed right now and hoping to get about $20. And I think these will be the same, about $20. But these are in like fantastic condition. And I think this brand, Jules, they make clothes too. I don't know about kids' clothes, but women's clothes for sure because I've sold it. And it actually does pretty well. Um, I sold one dress like in the $30 range and I bought another one without checking comps so and that one doesn't do as good. But I would definitely look up if you come across their clothing check comps. Here's another pair of hunter boots my sister found. They're all green. I have one more pair to show you. And like, they're worn, but they're not, not wearable. Like, there's nothing like wrong. I mean, I guess this heel is a little worn down, but I'll just take a picture and someone will still buy them. And honestly, I have no idea what comps are on hunter boots anymore. I'm guessing these will sell for about $20. Fine with me though. I mean, they weigh a little bit more, but I average out my costs. Okay, I'm only gonna show you one. This is like the classic hunter. Um. I think there's nothing I can do to clean this up. I think it's just wear on the boot. And they're also another green pair. And these are actually in good shape. Like the heels aren't worn down. It's just this cosmetic wear that's like crinkling on the exterior, which again, I don't think 
and can do anything to fix up. These are a size seven. So I was happy with all my hunter boot finds. Again, I think these with the crinkling will sell for like 20 bucks. I grabbed this diaper bag, I'm assuming, and it's skip hop. And I did a quick Google search or like password search or something just to make sure I wasn't like getting something that weighs over a pound or two, probably like two or three pounds actually. Um, and it wasn't worth it. But I think this should sell for at least 20 bucks. So happy with that because if it's three pounds, I paid about $3. And obviously again, I'm gonna average out my cost of goods. Oh, my best find has not been shared yet. <laughs> so if you're still here, maybe I'll make it in my thumbnail and you guys will have to wait this whole video to see my best find. And I did not do this intentionally. It's literally just at the bottom of this bag. Okay, so I grabbed this bag. I think this is my last bag from the brand um calf london and this says like calf kids london so i'm assuming this was a purse made for kids i just sold a pair of their pajama pants for like 20 dollars, and so i was like um i'll try out this handbag from the bins and i thought it was an adult so i grabbed it and now i'm thinking it was made for kids because it says kids on there but i don't care i paid about a dollar Yes, I will just show you my best find of the day, and these definitely need a cleaning, but I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to do the work for a $15 sale, so I'm willing to do the work for a $60 sale. It is these teaks. I was so surprised when I saw these. I've only found teaks once in my thrifting career at a Goodwill for five bucks bucks this is only my second pair of teaks I found in like seven years, and these are worn. Um like they will the exterior will look a lot nicer once I get magic eraser done but even here like you can see there's a chip in the sole i don't care <laughs> i would buy them if they were trashed and sell them for 20 dollars. i don't think these are trashed i think they just need a magic eraser and they should sell for like 50 to 60 dollars with the wear so that's fantastic should i do like a thumbnail i think this was my best find of the day like should sell for the most out of everything and just like honestly only a little bit of work for me to clean them up i can't believe like I feel like people, if they knew what they were, passed because of condition. But maybe people just didn't know what they were. I don't know. They were in the bin. And I am never the first one to the bins. That's any like fresh bins or anything. Okay, these are just kids' converse. Um, I could throw them in the wa- I, I might throw these in the washing machine because of, like, this dirt on here. But if- the, then take a magic eraser and they should sell for, like, I don't know, 18 to 20 bucks. Oh, we got another pair of Converse, and these look like kids again because they look too small for my foot, and I wear like a six, six and a half. So, white Converse, um, they're actually pretty clean. I might just take a magic eraser to the toe and sell them like this for 20 bucks. Oh, this was my first shoe find of the day, which again was under a bin, and my sister's like, do you want those Keens? And I'm like, yeah, I want those Keens. I think they might have accidentally fallen out of someone's bag, but they were on the floor, so I took them. Uh, they are a kid size three and hopefully they'll sell for like $25. They're in good condition. I feel like these could even sell for $30. They're like not worn at all. Only two shoes left. Oh, I kind of forgot I found these. These are a pair of Timberland heels and Timberlands do well even if they're not their like classic boot, which I actually don't know if I've ever sold their classic boot. I've only sold stuff like this before and so I would expect these to sell for at about 35 to 40 dollars i'm guessing more like 35 but nice find to end the haul i have one of my bread and butter favorite brands i usually grab this at last chance but i'll pick it up other places as well mark fisher sandals they're just knotted they need a little bit of a magic eraser wipe down and um i was looking to see if they came from last chance but they didn't and uh they should sell like for 20 or 25 dollars i feel like more like 20 just because they are worn if they were new probably more like 25 but that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this bins haul i would love to go back and film another video for you guys but obviously i have to process all of this first and that includes a lot of cleaning so pay less but clean more thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and i will be back for another video soon bye